So the jurying process was very straightforward. Uh, there's a, a number of volunteers that, that come into the Art League and uh, Whitney's able to direct things and um, you know move through looking at a large number of works fairly quickly. I could get um, a good overview of what was coming past me and, and start to think about what um, might go well together as a group while I was still in the process of, of looking at fresh work. I could, you know, start to kind of group things together um, as far as, you know, is it architectural, is it figurative, is it abstract? I think because the, there was no theme, um, color and then also, you know, a little bit of subject matter, but, but color kind of was something that I was looking for as a, as a unifying element between differing types of work. And even, even the manner in which it's displayed, I think, is important, so um, how well that was executed. Um, maybe one is slightly better than the other, or more well thought out. I'm more interested in, in the, the photographic works that have, that generate questions in my mind as opposed to a more static image that can be understood in a glance. I think with the figurative works, it's the same, the same uh, that, that I talked about with the, the photography. I am interested in kind of the backstory of what you know, the reason why the, the composition is as it is. I chose uh, Linda Lowry's Raw for the Simpkin Best in Show piece. So it's a, a straight on view of a, you know, pretty and uh, displeased baby. Um, so that kind of draws you in straight away. It's um, encaustic, which is uh, wax. Uh, both the, the material choice and the subject matter have an ephemeral or fleeting quality to them that I think is paired well. I would hope that uh, viewers are able to kind of pause and ponder about each of the, the scenes that are portrayed in the individual works and um, think as I did about what maybe the, the story behind what's represented.